about all the crazy things we love to do Just me and you Can't help but smile and laugh a bit Cause I know you're my perfect fit Even though we're pretty opposite But you're the apple of my eye The reason there are blue skies all the time For the first time I would like to welcome you um, and uh, I would like to kind of update everyone um, a, a little bit about myself um, my passions and a little bit about my life so and I'd also like to welcome those who have been around for a while and who have been following me for some time um, I've been on YouTube now for about four years and originally I started my channel with handbags because I love handbags. I've always loved handbags. Uh, and if there's a pattern going on here, then yes, I like anything to do with fashion, um, style, fragrances, um, healthy lifestyle, positive channel. Um, but uh, I guess starting around the beginning of last year um, I kind of felt myself getting drawn more into the fragrance community. Um, always loved fragrances but I got a little bit more into it um, at the beginning of the year so I met a lot of really amazing ladies and I have to say that the fragrance community is one of the most positive in my opinion, who I've met, uh, and just the most fun, loyal bunch of ladies that I have ever, and guys, sorry, and guys too, because I do follow a few really amazing guys. Uh, as you will have seen from the title of this uh, video, this is a tag video, and it's by Claire Smith. Uh, now, Claire did this a uh, little while ago, a few weeks ago, and uh, originally she kind of just felt like, you know, let's pair perfumes with outfits. And uh, she, came, she comes up with, Claire, you come up with some of the most amazing ideas for videos. And so I watched it and I said to her, you know, you really should turn this into a tag because I for one would love to do that. And uh, because a while ago I actually created my own tag and I'm going to link it down in the description bar and it's handbags and fragrances. When Claire uh, came out with her video on outfits and fragrance, I thought, this is great. This is just taking my handbags and perfumes to a, another level, like, you know, a higher level. So, uh, so I decided to uh, jump on the bandwagon and say, turn it into a tag girl. And so as promised, I'm going to do that tag, this tag. This has taken a lot of work, uh, but it's a passion of, it's not really considered work um, when it's a passion. And it was lovely going through my closet, uh, just picking out outfits for where I maybe would wear them if it weren't for pandemic. All these clothes have been sitting in my closet for the past year, two years, and haven't been used. So I have had so much fun with this tag. It's taking me hours to get it all together, to really think about it. And as always, I overthink everything. <laughs> so, um, but yes, I'd like to Claire for coming up with the idea. And I will be tagging a few of you lovely ladies to do this. So check in the description bar who I have tagged. And, you know, no pressure, but 
you know, you can put your own spin on it if you want to. And I'm actually putting my own spin on it because Claire did all winter outfits. And because we're starting to transgress into the spring, I thought, why not do half winter? So three outfits for winter and three outfits for the summer. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, I won't be on camera. I did not model these outfits because that would take me like a week to do. So I'm going to do the same way that Claire did and I will be linking Claire down in the description bar as well. So you've got to go over and see. And if you're not already subscribed, then what are you waiting for? She comes up with the most genius ideas. She knows her fragrances. She is very knowledgeable and uh yeah so i i hope you go and follow her because she is amazing um but yeah i'm going to do it the same way she did i'm going to lay them all out on the bed behind me and uh take shots take the video shots of them and kind of go through a little bit of what i where i would wear these and which fragrance i would put with them so if you're interested in this video then keep watching so I decided to start off my outfit with something wintry, something really trendy and a very cozy, comfy, and something I would probably wear out for lunch with hubby, maybe a girlfriend. Um, really beautiful um, knit dress. Uh, cable knit dress in gray. It was a uh, purchase in a little boutique in my hometown and I just fell in love with it because I knew I would absolutely adore um, and wear this to death. And this is a little fur gilet which I would uh, throw over the top and then I can take that off in the restaurant and be very comfy and cozy. Uh, the handbag of my choice would be a Dunian Burke Zip Zip in the color black. And my shoes are from Nine West. And these are really comfortable. I know they look really um, uncomfortable, but they're not. They're super comfy in a darker gray. And then I'm going to rock them with a thick, really thick cable knit uh, pair of tights because this dress does come down um, quite, you know, it's quite long. It's, it's a good, it's a sweater dress, but it doesn't, it's not short. So yeah, and the perfume that I picked to go with that is Scandal A Paris. And it's that one now. I chose that because I just think it's a lovely uh, Chypri floral fragrance. Um, it was launched in 2019 and the nose behind this fragrance is Daphne Budger, Budgy. Top note is pear, middle note is jasmine and the base note is honey. It is non-offensive to anyone. Um, you, it, it doesn't project too far out. It stays fairly close about arm's length and it won't offend anyone around you when you're having lunch. It'll just be a nice, sweet, floral, um, easy to wear fragrance. And that would be my choice to go with this outfit. Uh, moving on to my next outfit, which is another winter outfit. Uh, this outfit, um, I haven't had the chance to wear very much because I actually purchased it uh, the last time I was in Ireland in a little boutique. And it's by Chic Angel. And it's a very um, kind of Chanel inspired uh, jacket, it's good quality, uh, just a, a, a stunning, stunning classic uh, jacket that I could probably keep in my wardrobe um, forever. And I have actually paired that along with a pure silk um, blouse and it's by, I'll link all these in the description. Yeah, it's by Goosey and it's made in Italy. And this was, a, again, another really good find for me. Um, I found it in Winners here in uh, Canada. 
Um, <clears throat> then uh, coming down a little bit lower is the skirt I've paired it with. And this is like a textured skirt as well. It has kind of stripes going, uh, going across and it's, it's a beautiful fitted shorter, not super mini, but definitely above the knee and it's quite fitted. Looks very nice. The shoes I have paired it with are um, my Jane Shilton shoes. Also, I believe she is a British designer, also purchased in the UK. And my handbag was a little find in Winners and it's by Catherine Melandria. Gorgeous little bag, love the little punch of color with the little tassels. Looks great with this primarily gray and black outfit. And the fragrance that I have chosen for this is none other than Giorgio Armani C. Um, I just love this fragrance. It's, um, it's not over the top, um, strong. Uh, again, it's year round. You can wear this summer or winter. The notes are black currant, um, freesia, rose, um, it's got a musky uh, ambroxan sort of warm base to it. And uh, yeah, this is a very, a very easy, could be a date night, um, romantic evening out with hubby. Um, and I could see me going out to quite a nice kind of trendy little restaurant where there's music playing, maybe piano. Um, yeah, I think this, Outfit is classic and could take you absolutely anywhere, anytime. Any now my next outfit has great fond memories for me because this dress was worn. The last time I had this dress on me was to a luncheon in the Shard in London with my niece and sister. And so that's where I'm going to wear this outfit. This outfit was a little dress that I bought in Clio, which is a little um, store, it's a store here. It's actually a, a franchise of stores. They're all across, it's Canadian. And um, I found this in the sale. Of course, I'm very much a thrift shopper, never pay full price for anything. And I fell in love with this dress and I felt like a million dollars in it. So um, the pink, beautiful pink flowers throughout this dress, the detail is unbelievable. It's got the lace trim on the bottom. It's got the lace trim at the top and I will uh, pair it with a gorgeous pink scarf and a uh, pink coach handbag punch nice little punch of color to tie in with the pink flowers in the dress just a little plain black patent shoe which is an Ann Taylor and these are gorgeous little shoes they're not too high perfect for our girls heading to the shard going for a lunch champagne and then going up into the uh, lookout area as well so it, you know these are comfortable shoes and over the top high but they're high enough <laughs> and of course the fragrance I'm going to wear with that is Chanel number no. five and I wear Chanel number no. five anywhere I feel like going and it's just I know it's sophisticated I know it couldn't take you out on a very posh night out but um, I'm wearing this with my girls, with my niece, with my sister, and it just makes me feel special. And it's none, nothing else could be more special than visiting your family in England and going to the Shard for lunch with my girls. And Chanel number no. five is just a beautiful, elegant, powdery, sophisticated, uh, and adorable amazing fragrance. So this is my outfit, my third outfit. 
So ladies, we are moving into the summer and I cannot wait for the summer. If you notice that I'm out of breath, it's because I'm up and down and up and down here so I can get a good shot on the bed. And uh, yeah, I'm getting my exercise today, but I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> but anyway, get back into it. Um, the outfit that I would uh, uh, wear in the summer and the fragrance that I would use I would wear with this is none other than Prada Iris now um, Prada is a it's a, a very elegant fragrance it was it was um, introduced in 2007 uh, it's got top notes of mandarin galbanum you really smell the gal galbanum, galbanum in this. Orange and orange blossom with the heart unfolding to notes of cedar, iris, and vetiver. vetiver. You get a feel of spring in full bloom. Incense and benzoin are the closing notes and they wrap you in a clean and crisp fragrance all day long. And this just fits this dress. This is a clean, fresh crisp dress. This is actually one of my favorite summer dresses. I've had it for about four or five years. I bought it in a little boutique and it's um, Bella. It's uh, silk. It's silk and linen and it's made in Italy. I bought it in a little boutique in Canada. It's got this beautiful embroidery on it. It's a very floaty, gorgeous um, dress that I adore to wear. Um, I've paired it with a um, lovely pink scarf, pink and cream scarf, and the handbag is kind of like a little touch of creamy gold, and it's a Tiganello. And then the shoes I've paired with that are these stunning Nine West, gorgeous, have all the colors, the pink ties in with the scarf, the creams, it's got all sorts of gorgeous colors. These are beautiful. Now where am I going to wear this dress? I think I'm wearing this to a garden party. I think this is perfect. I think the fragrance complements this whole outfit. Um, a garden party, I mean, yeah. I'm totally rocking this. I'm going in there with confidence and I feel amazing. There's going to be lots of couples there, lots of friends. It's just a really great gathering for a summer garden party. Le Link Soleil is a fairly new fragrance in my collection and it's actually a fairly new um, fragrance. It uh, was launched in 2019 and it was created by Alexandra Monet um, and a few other people. <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce their names. Top notes are mandarin orange, bitter almond, cardamom, middle notes are pear, Candied almond, jasmine, caramel, milk and coffee. Base notes are proline, white musk, and sandalwood. And you know, I haven't done a full review on this fragrance yet because this fragrance is evolving. This fragrance is evolving. Uh, when I first smelt it, it was like meh. It was, it was, it was nice. It was floral. It was, it was gourmand. It was like, it, but it was fresh. Um, it was summery, it, it was almost like it was wintry as well. And actually, this fragrance, in my opinion, uh, you can wear this any time of the year because it evolves. It evolves when you wear it, what time of the year you wear it. I've been wearing it in the winter, I wore it in the fall. Haven't had a chance to wear it in the summer yet, but it's absolutely divine and it changes with the seasons. So interesting, I'm going to have to do a full on review on that one. So I'm wearing that to a wedding. It's gonna be a summer wedding. This is a stunning dress. I adore this dress. I've only had a chance to wear it a couple of times. It is, I'm not sure the brand of dress. It was bought in a boutique um, and it's got layers. It's pleated around the waist. It's also got a beautiful scarf, which you can tie around your neck. It looks divine on. I'm pairing it, I'm keeping it very simple. 
very monochromatic. I'm pairing it again with the Tiganello, the little touch of creamy beige gold. Uh, the dress is brown, cream, beige, um, very elegant, very beautiful on, and I'm pairing it with a pair of Calvin Klein cream shoes, and yeah, I can't wait to wear this dress again. I'm wearing this to a wedding uh, with my hubby. Absolutely adore it. You're getting a little sense of my style, ladies. <laughs> I hope you Okay guys, we have reached the last outfit and I have chosen Haute Couture uh, by uh, Givenchy and this is a niche quality, absolutely not just my opinion, but talk to anyone in the fragrance community uh, that I know and they will tell you the same thing. This is niche quality. This is a stunning fragrance. Um, this is a stunning house of fragrances. I haven't met a Givenchy fragrance that I don't love yet. And I'd like to add a few more to my collection. And this is a fruity, spicy, woody, citrusy fragrance. Um, top notes are citrus, pepper, uh, vetiver, um, it's got magnolia in it, it's got sandalwood, amber, um, raspberries, and you get a blast of raspberries right off the top, which I adore. I love this fragrance. This fragrance is, it lasts all day. Um, it has fairly good projection and it reaches beyond arm's length but it's very elegant. And I'm pairing it with this beautiful dress that I've had in my collection for many years. I think I've only worn it once. It's just plain white. It's actually from Sears, and it's a little Jessica from the Petite line. And I've paired it with a Coach white handbag, the beautiful pink and white, creamy white scarf. And I'm pairing it again with these stunning Nine West shoes. Now, where am I going to wear this one, girls? Where am I wearing this to? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, you could wear this anywhere. This is an evening, this is a day, this is an afternoon. Um, perhaps this is something I'd like to do when I go to Paris when, not if, but when I finally get to Paris. This would be an afternoon stroll. Uh, this would be most definitely a very elegant, very chic in the afternoon to wear this with the summer breeze, stopping at like a little bistro for an espresso or a cappuccino, holding hands with your loved one, and just not a care in the world. How's that for finishing off, girls? Hope you enjoyed my video. I certainly enjoyed making it. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your spark.